This channel contains mature subject matter, so if you're not 19 years or older, don't watch this channel. With that being said, let's get into it. Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about cannabis seeds. I'll be going over topics that you need to know before you start shopping for your cannabis seeds. This includes discussing the three main types of cannabis, indica, sativa, and ruderalis. I'll also be discussing photoperiod versus autoflowering and regular versus feminized seeds. I think a basic understanding of all these terms is necessary to begin shopping for your cannabis seeds. I'll start by discussing the difference between sativa and indica. There's many differences between genetics, so in this video I'll be talking about things that affect your seed purchasing decisions. The plant on the left is a sativa. Sativa strains originate near the equator, where summers take up a lot of the year. They grow tall with large spaces between the buds and they take approximately 10 to 14 weeks for buds to mature. Indica strains are short, dense, bushy and usually finish flowering in 8 weeks. Size and flowering time are both important factors to consider when choosing your seeds. Indica strains generally have higher CBD. That means their effects are relaxing, good for relieving stress, physical pain, and good to help you sleep. Sativas have a higher level of THC, which makes the high more cerebral, stimulating, and uplifting. It's good for creativity and good to use during the day. Ruderellus is a short and stocky plant. It's native to high northern latitudes and because of this, it's developed a unique genetic characteristic which causes it to begin flowering at a set age, usually two to four weeks from germination. Ruderellus is used in crossbreeding with indica and sativa to create hybrid plants with this unique characteristic called autoflowering. I'll get into those shortly. Hybrids are plants that share multiple types of genetics. They can have any combination of indica, sativa, and ruderellus, combined through crossbreeding. Hybrid plants can be bred to achieve a combination of characteristics, like keeping a plant short and bushy like an indica and having a shorter flowering time, but preserving characteristics of a sativa like aroma and effects. Another type of hybrid is when breeders cross either an indica or sativa strain with ruderellus to create an autoflowering plant. All cannabis that is not ruderellus is photoperiod. This means that the plant's hormones are affected by changes in how much light and dark the plant receives. When photoperiod cannabis receives 12 hours or more of darkness, it begins to switch its focus from vegetative growth into growing buds. Long nights is how the plant knows that winter is coming and that it's time to reproduce. When grown outdoors, photoperiod plants will begin to flower in August as the days get shorter. When grown indoors, the grower has full control of when the plant begins to flower. It's as simple as adjusting your timer to 12 hours off and 12 hours on and the photoperiod plant will begin to flower. Autoflower plants are plants that carry the ruderellus gene and therefore switch from vegetative growth into flowering at a preset date from germination determined by the plant's own genetics. When growing outside, autoflowering plants may be an ideal choice for being discreet because of their small size. Autoflowering plants will usually be ready to harvest in 10 to 12 weeks from germination and because they're unaffected by the length of day or night, you may be able to have two outdoor harvests in the same summer growing season. 
Grow in indoors, auto flowers may be chosen if your growing area is height restricted. Regular cannabis seeds are seeds as they would be in nature. A female plant receives pollen from a male plant. Once pollinated, the female plant will produce buds that are full of seeds. These seeds will be a mix of male and female. It's only female plants that produce buds. Male plants only grow pollen sacs. Regular seeds are a good option if you need to collect pollen for breeding or preserving strain genetics. Feminized seeds are seeds that have been altered to produce only female plants. There are multiple ways to achieve this, but I think I'm going to save that discussion for a future video. Feminized seeds can be extremely helpful when restricted to low numbers of plants. Like anyone growing, they're for recreational plants. By selecting seeds that are feminized, you can be certain you won't end up with any non-bud producing males. If you're just beginning your journey into becoming a cannabis grower, I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know when I release my next video where I'll be talking about where to purchase cannabis seeds and how to choose the right genetics for you.